So about a week ago, I think on the 18th of August, Intel released some updated graphics drivers for their ARC GPUs. Their uh, A750, A770, I believe even their A380 and, and so on. And since I have one of these ARC GPUs, I have the A750, I thought, hmm, let's see if it's any better. Okay, so in Intel's defense, and I can't believe I just said that, but in Intel's defense, this card has been pretty good. There are a couple of different things that we need to kind of go back just a little bit to make sure that we understand what we're talking about in a few moments. Uh, the drivers that they're talking about are the what tells the graphics card to talk to the operating system. The operating system, in this case, a Microsoft Windows operating system, uses DirectX uh, versions 9, 11, 12, and so on. There is a version 10, but it's not used very often, it, and it just kind of slipped by the wayside. But in any case, um, these games were made for the past, say, 10, 12 years, have used that interface. Or there's an alternate with some games that use a Vulkan API. Or so that's just talking from whatever drivers the graphics card communicates to the operating system, those interfaces or that direct connection or that direct interface will go to the operating system, the DirectX or DX 11, 12, what have you. So, so the game itself will have that driver or that API being used and the driver that the company that makes the graphics card has to improve the way that that speaks to the driver for the game. Now, with this Arc Intel, they had some big struggles with earlier implementations of that so all the DirectX say 9 and 11 and all uh, they concentrated on games that were newer so they optimized it for DirectX 12 well they've constantly gone back in and filled in some of the gaps which is really really good but there's still some things lacking now this past update was supposed to really say okay we, we got a lot of DX 11 titles out there and they listed off a lot of stuff and a couple of DX 12 titles and they said there's up to an 18 percent improvement that is true. There are people on, the, you know, there's YouTubers out there that have gone through and verified this. That, hey, look, it is an improvement. And it is really good. And don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing on Intel for this because I really do. I, I see some of that improvement and I've noticed that myself. But there's a couple of things they left out, including a couple of things that say benchmarks that people do use like Borderlands 3 that weren't on that list and weren't really optimized that well to begin with either. So I looked at Borderlands 3. I also looked at World War Z, which is something that has not been mentioned by anybody, but it had big problems. And there's a reason why I wanted to look at that one. And I went look back and looked at one of the ones they said that they gave an improvement to again, which is CSGO. Now, CSGO runs in an older uh, DirectX 9 implementation. So Microsoft's version of talking to the graphics card was that, that DX9 driver. That has made some improvement. And when I looked at it this time, it made a minor improvement. It didn't make very much. It made a minor improvement, but it did. And I would say it's probably in between, you know, 2 and 5% or something. Not major, but an improvement is okay. Went back and looked at Borderlands 3. Now, Borderlands 3 is one of the ones that I always test because it is a DX11 title. It is very demanding. It does a lot of times um, heat up your graphics card because it makes the graphics card work really hard. And what I found here is that, it, yeah, it didn't, didn't really change. In, in fact, if anything, it got slightly worse. Now, I'm still not going to complain because if you're getting between 80 and 100 frames per second on a game at either 1440p or 1080p, that's not horrible. That's very, very playable. What does strike me as a little bit weird here, and I think I mentioned this in one of my original videos when I was talking about the RK750, is it didn't seem to care which resolution it was on. Now, I, had, I ran into that same problem with another game, Horizon Zero Dawn. It just didn't care whether it was on 1440p or 1080p. It just ran the same, basically the same. You, know, you, you were getting about 80-something frames per second in high, and you were getting closer to, to 90 to 100 in low. And you, you figure that you would see a big bump in the easier resolution. That's not the case, again, here. The other game, World War Z, I picked because it's a Vulcan title. Now, it has DirectX 11 and Vulcan, so two different APIs that it can use to talk to the operating system. Except for, again, the problem with the ARC A750, and I'm sure the 770, but the problem with the Intel graphics cards as yet, this driver does not address that. Um, in fact, it, it still 
so you still can't cl select Vulcan at all. So that's not a way to test. Although Vulcan, they have paid a lot of attention to those Vulcan drivers to make sure things work well. You can't select it in this case. And um, DX11, yeah, still fails miserably. And in, in fact, it's basically between 50 and 60 frames per second. And I still get those weird uh, flashes and gaps and everything. It looks like coming out of the gate, it wants to start and wants to go to a high frame rate and then immediately just gets cut down. Where it's only using between 45 and 60% of the GPU, uh, but maybe about 50 or 60% of the CPU. So there's some gap in there somewhere. And that kind of tells you that it's not using a lot of memory. It's not using a lot of CPU. It's not using a lot of GPU there's something, there's a driver problem. There's a, there's a disconnect in the message being sent back and forth between the two. So is it an improvement, the new drivers? Yes. Are they always improving? That's, yes. Am I going to keep it in that rig? I, I think so, because it does play newer games pretty well. It does do what I needed to do. And I'm going to try it out when I'm editing videos, when I finally get, you know, I am number four swap for cool blue. We're going to go ahead and try it uh, editing and kind of compare those a little bit to see uh, maybe like on a 10 minute video, how, how much quicker the combination of the 12700K and the A750 can run than my, 56, my 5800 with the 3060 Ti in it. We'll see what the difference is there. I might start mixing and matching and swapping, but I want to see that comparison. So I will keep that in there for right now. And it has done very well and it looks good. For the very most part, it looks good in that build. So I, I can't be upset. Uh, um, will I Have I given up hope that some of the games that, that I used to benchmark, like Borderlands 3, are ever going to get any better? No, I think they'll get around to it eventually. But I might have to find some other titles. And it doesn't give me a very fair comparison when I'm, say, changing CPUs or, or doing something like that to try to uh, evaluate that with something that I know the drivers don't quite work right. So I think my test rig might end up becoming I am number four and my everyday editing rig and all that stuff will end up being cool blue just so I can kind of even things out and test things where I know that the driver is going to work like they're supposed to. So just an observation. Uh, am I disappointed? No, uh, I would have liked better results, but it's a $250 graphics card and it compares very, very well with many of the, the graphics cards that are out there that cost you know, 150 bucks more. So I'm not going to be upset at all. Uh, right now, I mean, you can you can find this GPU, the A750, you can find it between, say, 220 and 250 all day long. And they're in stock. So while a lot of people uh, are not quite giving AMD a chance, they might be a little bit even slower to give the Intel Arc a chance. But I, I would say if, if you got 250 bucks to spend and you're looking for a decent graphics card... Yeah, uh, uh, that's a that's a good one. I, I wouldn't be upset. I, I still think the uh, RX 6600 or the RX 6600 XT by AMD are both still, I mean, very, very solid. You can't go wrong with those either. But that ARC, that ARC A750, that's a pretty decent deal too. So although they haven't gotten to these drivers yet, they haven't fixed this or they haven't you know completely done it, uh, they haven't cr crossed the, the finish line with these drivers. They continue to put out drivers that do have improvement. And so you can't fault them for that. Uh, it's like when you know that uh, somebody's giving out raffle tickets or prizes or this, that, whatever. You haven't gotten yours yet, but hopefully you're going to get yours soon. You know, but you see people getting it. It's not like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. And you never see any results. No, you're seeing results all the time. They're not quite the results that you might want for yourself. But they're, they're constantly giving them. So uh, you got to hand it to them for that. And Battle Mage looks to be even better and looks to be more, I don't want to say battle ready when it comes out, but it does look like it's going to be in better shape driver wise. They've had some more practice. They've had a couple years to do this. And I, I, think, uh, I think they're on the right track. So I can't believe I'm actually giving an Intel product a, a, a kind of a thumbs up. But this system has an A12700KF in it, and it's got an A750 in it. And um, it's also got an, it, yeah, it's got an Intel boot drive, an NVMe. What have I done? I, um, well, I figured that out. If you guys found this helpful at all, go ahead and throw, throw a like on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit me up on the other socials. Um, uh, yeah, I'm starting to stream on that purple channel quite a bit more, including three hours the other day. Trying to get some more stuff going and going to be, there's going to be some serious 
I don't want to say rebooting, but some work going on the fall that will kick some things back off, I hope. And if you don't do anything else, do at least this one thing, and that's be good to each other. Uh, smile, wave, hold the door open, say good morning. You have no idea what that little gesture, that small gesture on your part can mean to somebody else. It can make a huge, huge difference. All right, you guys. So uh, when I get this swap over going, I, I got a follow-up video on the server to do. I've got a couple other little things, including a little USB-C hub that I, I kind of like. Um, I don't know if that's going to make it to a video or not, but I really, really like it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So until the next time when I get myself into something I got no, no business getting into, I'll see you later.